This isn't everyone's dreams, man. I don't know what is. Episode 4 of Data Live is here. You know what day it is. That means the review time. And, well, it was something else. Um, There's a lot of lollies in this one. You know, younger versions of, of you know, Toka, Yamai Twins, Origami, and even Ellen. And I, I understand what you're saying right now. Lollies, Truman, how, how is that even possible? Dude, they're adorable. The lolly versions... Are adorable. FBI, open up! Yeah, no, but so the beginning was basically just them, you know, showing off how adorable the lolly version of they are. And I get it, FBI, please don't come after me, please. But now the show actually starts, so it shows off um, Shido going to school, and it pans to well. He had some unexpected guests, and yes, who would have guessed it? It was all of the freaking little girls thinking that they had to come to school, and you know, freaking or. Origami <laughs> has to be origami, and she instantly is like, "Thank you for being my father's freaking friend." So she's playing off of that she's Shido's daughter. <laughs> So everyone's thinking that um, all those kids were theirs because you know I guess in anime they can't really see the similarities because you know why not and after that even freaking their house turns into a cat so you find out not not to me it's just playing around with them right now first with the whole lollies and then it was the cat and then well and well um Toka Going to a little con uh little school uh girl um swimsuit. That was also a thing and then <laughs> as well as them turning into bunny costumes and not to me's just not to me's just having her fun. See, this is when it gets real interesting. So after you find out where Natsumi's at, just watching and playing with them, she's greeted by, well, nonetheless, Ellen with her AST squad. And, well, shit gets pretty insane. Shit gets pretty insane. So after they throw down a bit, the AST shoots a few rockets at Natsumi. Natsumi deflects them. Well, not really deflects them, but makes them into candy. And then, well, she turns, like I said in the beginning of the uh, episode, she turns Ellen into a lolly, which is adorable. But, you know, Ellen's still the number one wizard, strongest wizard out there, or so we're supposed to believe. And she still somehow slashes Natsumi, making her, you know, bleed some red. And then after that, her power energy goes down. And that's when everyone comes to save the day. Yay! They finally caught Natsumi! So, you know, after they saved Natsumi, you would think, oh, big happy ending. No. You, uh, you remember the people who got their arms chopped off by Ellen? Were well, they back? They are planning and scheming to drop eight satellites that they're not using from the DEM and drop it on Tangu City. Now, if I don't, if, if you don't think that's a bit of an overkill, overkill, I don't know what is. Like, Jesus, man, your arms are back. Don't worry. They're not completely, you know, gone. You got them back. You don't have to drop satellites on a city, you freak. But, you know, they, they try it. Well, not yet. Probably in the next few episodes. Or they're just going to get destroyed by... Westcott, which would make sense. Ooh, now we're planting seeds for origami. Oh, woohoo. No, so basically what's happening with her is that the, I mean, there's people chasing her. There's people who want to, I think, end her life. I don't know. But she's basically wanted right now. She's running away from all these suited men. And, well, yet again, Ellen comes up and is like, yo, origami, join me. And origami's like, uh, uh, and Ellen's like, 
don't fuck up. Origami's like, uh. Now, there's, there's a lot more to that ending with the whole origami thing, but we gotta pan back to the cuteness, alright? So they have Natsumi all captured up and everything like that, and for some reason, Natsumi can't use her form, so she's back to the lolly adorableness that she, you know, should be 24-7. Um, but... She doesn't like it, her, just her meters aren't going up, she doesn't feel comfortable in her own body. So for some reason, they thought it would be a good idea to quote-unquote transform her? <laughs> so they start with, like, a back massage, some lotion, some weird stuff, I ain't gonna lie. Then they go shopping, and it's cute, she finds a cute dress. They also get her hair done, and then, well, you know, a surprise, a surprise, surprise, surprise comeback of Shiori. I don't know why they had to add Shiori to it, but, you know, why not? Add, add a lot more comedic relief to it. And Shiori, well, she actually kind of shows off that she, um, she's Shido, and Natsumi just calls him a pervert. <laughs> And, but, at the end of it, um, he finally gets some makeup on her, and, god damn, is she adorable. Is she adorable. <laughs> so, after just all the cuteness that happened, we turn back to Origami and Alloway getting stuck by all the guys. I mean, she's cornered. There's nothing she can do. Right? Wrong. She is a voice. She is a voice. All like, yo, Origami, remember the fire that happened five years ago that, you know, completely destroyed your family? Don't you want revenge? If you join us, we will let you have all the power you need and release your full potential. Sadly, she says yes. And with Origami, I think she's good with her words, so... Welcome Origami to the DM industry, Ellen got to her. It's it's official. She uh she agreed to be under or uh Ellen's <sighs> Ellen's arms. So uh episode five is gonna be amazing, but with that it ends episode four. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit the like button, subscribe, obviously, and in the comments tell me what your favorite part of episode episode four was. As well as tell me what you know if you wanna see another review anime series like I don't know if you guys want me to, see, to do one with one that's going on right now, like that shield one with the raccoon. That's adorable. Or if you guys want to do me like older, uh, older anime I can review or gaming. It's really up to you guys. I mean, you guys kind of tell me what to do without do it, obviously. I'm also getting sick. I'm not going to lie. Ugh. But yeah, you guys have a good day, morning, and night. See you guys next time.